We're here at the booth for the American Proficiency Institute. Um, for those of us who aren't right, familiar, are you can done? you just provide a couple sentences about what you guys do? Sure. Proficiency testing is the way that we test technicians who test your food. For example, if you have a technician in the laboratory who's testing every day for salmonella, listeria, E. coli, we would provide them samples either once, twice, or three times a year where they are given a sample along with a media that they can choose uh, matrix, either non-fat dry milk or dehydrated beef, and they analyze the sample, send the results to us. We give them a detailed report approximately 30 days after the closing date, and we let them know how they performed, and we compare their results with everybody else around the world who received the identical sample as to how they performed. And on average, about 5% fail for one reason or another, either it's a simple transcription error or they switch the samples around. So I guess it's really good for labs to have this information so that they can identify maybe, like, does the report specify where the mistake was made so that they can... No, the report will tell them if they were satisfactory, unsatisfactory, or questionable by giving them what we call a Z-score or Zeta-score. And it's up to that laboratory to do their um, investigation as to why they might have failed. Okay, so it's up to their quality managers to figure out where the system is moving. That's correct, yeah people do this? Like, is this a regular part of a lab's operations? Are they all doing this sort of thing? Or? Currently, we have approximately 600 participants in over 35 countries around the world. If a laboratory is 17025 accredited, PT is mandatory, they have to do proficiency testing. We have many companies who are not accredited with their labs, however, they still offer to do the proficiency testing for their technicians as a part of their quality assurance. And why would a lab become accredited to a 17025 standard? Is that just a selling point? Or? No, 17025 is great for a lab to become accredited so they can stand behind their technician's work and they can track and trace everything they do. And um, as ISO says, say everything you do and do everything you say. I've heard that this actually applies to the new Food Safety Modernization Act that was recently passed. Yes, uh, in approximately two years the rules will be written and begin to be implemented, which will require food companies that have labs that the lab must become accredited. So if a lab is accredited to ISO 10725, they must do the physical testing. Okay, and that's often a feature of regulatory testing, isn't it? That the yes. lab has to be accredited. That is correct, yep. The extra check and balance. Yeah, and then for importers of food to America from other countries around the world, they will also have to fall underneath the same standard. So many uh, countries across the world who ship food to America, those laboratories will have to fall underneath the same accreditation status, which means they will also have to do PT.